Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. I know that we all love to grill on our Weber grills. The one important thing that we need to remember is we need to clean and maintain them throughout the year. Now if your grill looks like this, don't worry, we're here to help. We're going to show you the supplies you're going to need, we're going to give you some great tips in order to get your grill back in tip top shape. First, let's focus on the supplies. We'll need some cleaning gloves, some non-lit terry cloth, some warm soapy water, a sponge, a scouring pad, and some mild glass cleaner. First we're going to focus on the exterior of the grill, starting with the lid. When cleaning the exterior of your grill, use warm soapy water and a sponge and let dry. If you're noticing excess buildup, use a non-lint terry cloth and a mild glass cleaner. Now that we've showed you how to clean the exterior of your grill, let's open up the lid and focus on the interior. Moisture and grease from your food tends to bake itself onto the inside of the lid, which is carbonized grease. This deposit will eventually peel, and it looks very similar to paint. These carbon deposits are non-toxic, but you should remove the buildup on a regular basis. Brush the carbonized grease from the inside of the lid using a stainless steel grill brush. Wash with warm soapy water, then rinse. Now one way to prevent excess buildup on the inside of our lids is while the grill is warm, not hot, use a damp rag and clean any of the excess moisture and debris each time that we grill. Now let's focus on cleaning our cooking grates and we're going to need a stainless steel bristle brush and some warm soapy water. Brush the grates using a stainless steel grill brush. Then wipe clean with warm soapy water. We've shown you how easy it is to clean your cooking grate. Now let's focus on the inside of our kettle grill. First, remove the charcoal grate. Now on most Weber grills, there's a one-touch cleaning system. It's a three-blade system that when rotated, removes all the ash, food particles, and charcoal from previous cookings. Our recommendation is that you use the three-blade system after each grilling. When the blades are turned, the residue falls into a special catch pan located underneath the kettle. To remove, simply turn the pan a quarter turn and pull down. We've removed all the ash, charcoal, and food debris from inside our kettle grill. Now we're going to focus on cleaning the inside of our bowl, and we're going to follow the same procedure as cleaning the inside of our lids. We're going to use a stainless steel bristle brush and warm soapy water. To clean the inside of the bowl, use a stainless steel grill brush to scrape away any large particles or food debris. Next, use warm soapy water and a non-abrasive sponge. Rinse, then thoroughly dry with a non-lint terry cloth. I know we all love to grill on our Weber grills, but let's also love to clean and maintain them. This will help with the longevity and the performance of our barbecue grills. One thing I'll leave you with is when you're doing a deep clean, take an inventory of your grill in case you need any replacement parts. And those are a simple phone call away at our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. And if you have any other questions, refer to your owner's manual or find us here on Weber.com. And always, happy grilling.